In our first hour, I took you to a museum exhibit at Chico State, Imprisoned at Home, featuring the history of U.S. internment camps holding Japanese Americans during World War II. I sat down with a gridly man whose family was pulled from their home and their thriving farm business and forced to spend two years in government custody. This morning, his thoughts on the past and current events. When the executive order was signed February 19, 1942, everything changed. We became the enemy. For Jim Tanimoto, this exhibit is not just history, it is his life. We were American citizens, and we had nothing to say. We had no court, no hearing, no trial. Um, and they took away our civil rights, and they just stuck us in behind the barbed wire and the guard towers, armed guard towers. Tani Moto vividly recalls being instructed to answer questions 27 and 28 on a loyalty questionnaire. Well, the purpose of it was to prove that you were loyal to the United States. When we refused to fill out this loyalty form, we were sent into the county jail in Klamath Falls and Alturas. History repeats itself. Um, I hate to say this, but our internment, I think, is going to happen again to some other minority. And Tanimoto's brother was already serving in the U.S. Army, and he was placed in the internment camps as well. Well, now at age 95, Tanimoto routinely speaks to groups to educate the public about his experiences. He says many are shocked to learn that this happened to U.S. citizens, and he hopes his story can prevent it from ever happening again. To learn more about the Imprisoned at Home exhibit, you can visit our website, actionnewsnow.com.